Okie dokie. Okay, so good morning everyone. It's Wednesday the 8th of April and yes, this is the last live stream on YouTube before the Easter holiday. Okay, well, we've been uh, going on for nine, nine and a half weeks now uh, online. Uh, we've had lots of fun and uh, of course this week uh, yesterday, Tuesday, and back on Monday, uh, we were doing some uh, review quizzes, and uh, we're going to have one more today on Kahoot. Um, let me just have a quick look, uh, see who's just joined in the live chat. Okay, so uh, Alice has just joined, and Ashley and Audrey have just come in as well, and uh, Luke, uh, see he's up there, yes. So, and everyone's saying Happy Easter. Yes, Happy Easter to everyone. Uh, I hope you're going to have a uh, great holiday. And uh, yeah, well, this is it. The last one. Oof, nine and a half weeks. It's gone quite fast, actually. Yeah, and I uh, hope you've been enjoying it. Uh, so, well, let's get started. OK, now, um, let me just tell you, uh, before we do the Kahoot today, um, I do have one more very, very silly candy challenge which we will do later today to finish uh, and uh, we'll also be uh, taking a quick look at uh, some of the responses some of you guys have been uh, doing our review of online learning the uh, the, the google form and uh, i will be asking more of you to do that uh, and help us uh, to improve uh, our online teaching and of course learning after the Easter holidays. Okay, so that's later though, uh, but uh, let's go straight into it. Um, so yesterday uh, we did the second one, uh, Monday we did the first one of course, so clearly today we are going to go for number three. Uh, so we've done so much and we've used so many different things online to help us to study and learn uh, so guys I do um, recommend again for this Kahoot if you're on the computer or iPad you maybe uh, make sure you've got uh, a uh, new tab open and uh, maybe you're gonna go into the our Google classroom uh, because uh, as we know there's lots of information uh, you can maybe help find some answers uh, from stuff in our Google Classroom. So uh, as we uh, load up the Kahoot, uh, I think it's a good idea to also have a page open so you can kind of flick between uh, our Google Classroom and, of course, the Kahoot page. All right, guys, let's see what's the number today. Our game pin is a da -da -da. A one zero five nine zero two okay guys we're going to give you two minutes to get yourselves in and remember open another tab on your computer or ipad get into the google classroom might help you to uh, find the answers Okay, two minutes, guys, and uh, I shall just move myself out of the way so you can see the screen clearly. And we've got a few more people just joining in the uh, live chat. I can see, um, oh wow, quite a few joining in here. So Sophia's just come in, Roxanne, Mason, Isabel, Jiao Wang. So sorry if I'm saying that badly. Jiao Wang, have you an English name? Uh, let us know in the live chat. And yes, a uh, big happy Easter to everyone. And Isabel is asking, are you going to eat chocolate eggs? Probably yes, I think I will. How about you guys? Are you going to have lots of lovely chocolate Easter eggs? Let us know in the live chat. And good morning to Cody, who's just joined as well. Uh, 
and uh, just uh, remember guys that uh, for these review quizzes this week um, you do have 90 seconds that's one and a half minutes to uh, choose the answer so that gives you some time maybe to if you need to go into our Google Classroom and maybe look for the answer um, you can and in the live chat Isabelle is saying Mr Matthew did you cut your hair uh, well actually someone else did I went to the uh, barber shop on Saturday got my hair cut and uh, I asked the barber for a uh, Charles Kang from P3 Haircut, please. Because uh, Charles had a very, 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 very short haircut uh, about a month or so ago. I thought well, that's pretty cool. So yeah, super short. It was actually a little bit sad, I have to say. Uh, I went into the barber shop on Saturday. Saturday should be the busiest day for hairdressers and barbers and uh, there were four hairdressers, four barbers in the shop and no customers, just me. And in the live chat, uh, Wan Sung Yu from 5B's not going to eat chocolate eggs. Staying healthy, and uh, Luke saying good morning. Uh, good morning to you, Malvina, Maven, uh, saying uh, we have an East Egg Hunt at home. Oh, very nice. Now, of course, guys, uh, during the Easter holidays, if you do any fun stuff like an Easter Egg Hunt at home, uh, if you uh, want to take any photos and post them into our Google Classroom, uh, remember, our Google Classroom, it's only uh, students from the school, so it's not going on the internet. Uh, it's not going out to everyone in the world. So you can, uh, if you want to post some pictures, let us know what you're doing in the holidays. Uh, that would be great. All right, guys, anyway, I think it's almost time to start. Uh, we have 40, okay, 42 players in, 43. And we've got 47 watching, so 10 seconds. Okay, guys, let's do it. The last one, the last review. What do you remember? What have you learnt about online stuff? Here we go. 10 questions. 90 seconds, remember guys, you've got lots of time. Don't rush. So what is my favourite learning app? Ooh. What is Mr Matthew's favourite learning app? Ooh, well, we've got four choices. Epic. The reading app. Teach your monster to read. It's kind of the P1, P2 phonics um, app. Kahoot, which we're using now, or Google Earth. So, which one is my favourite? And I'll tell you guys this answer there is just one answer. I love them all, but I have one favourite. Which one do you think it is? So which one is it? Epic, teach your monsters to read, Kahoot or Google Earth, my favorite app. There you go, it is Kahoot. Yes, it is Kahoot. Now, 
I actually, uh, I also really love Epic. And uh, for anyone who was not on the, uh, the live streams when we started back in uh, February, uh, we did a, we, we looked at Epic quite a lot. And uh, let's just, uh, let's just Google Epic, okay? And um, here we go. Yes, um, Kahoot's my favourite, but I think my second favourite, very close, is the Epic Reading app. You can find loads of books on there and um, to read ebooks. And there's also videos, there's quizzes, you can read the books, do quizzes. And as you can see, um, they've got loads of really cool books to read as well. It's not, uh, it's not kind of boring uh, study books. It's fun. Look, there you've got Captain Underpants there. Um, you've got stuff about sharks. Um, there's, there's just loads. And for all different ages and all different levels. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I do love Epic. But Kahoot! Kahoot is just so much fun. Uh, but I also do, of course, love Teach Your Monster to Read for our younger students. Uh, they all have uh, an account in P1. Uh, so uh, probably now all our P1 students, I hope, have, have finished uh, using that app. There's three different levels. Um, but uh, also Google Earth. I think Google Earth, particularly when you are stuck at home a lot, can't go to school, can't go out much, you can learn so much about different places all around the world. So all of these are fantastic, uh, but uh, Kahoot is my favourite. Now, guys, in the live chat, uh, you can, of course, tell me uh, what your favourite is. Uh, is it Kahoot? Is it something else? Let us know in the live chat. All right, now, uh, top of the tree at the moment, Theo. And then we've got Bianca, Boss. Big Boss, <laughs> and Pop. Ooh, let us know uh, who you are in the live chat, because uh, you're all doing well, Boss and Big Boss. Ooh, now then, let's see question two. That's a big question. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hang on, what does it say? It says, okay, where can you find a lot of information about study apps and online learning. Right, okay. Now, choices are in books, on the Tech with the Net website, uh, in a library, or in Google Hangouts. Hmm, so where can you find a lot of information about all these study apps and online learning? And uh, hello to uh, Toti, who's just joined us in the uh, live chat. How are you today? All right, guys. Well, there we go. Yes, on the Tech with the Net website. Ooh. Now, some of you, you might be saying, well, what's that? What's that? Well, guys, remember, if you go into our Google Classroom, and it, we always keep it near the top. This is the kind of top post. Um, we have it here. Yeah, so... Uh, I showed you this uh, quite a lot when we first started our live streams back in February. Um, so it's a whole website and it's for our school, for our students, and we've got lots of information on here. Uh, and of course we have links to uh, lots of the apps 
there is that video that I put up about my my favourite top ten apps. Uh, of course, they're epic. We were just uh, talking about that. Uh, but we also have here a list. These are all the apps that we have used and tested out at the school. Some of them are for teachers, uh, but most of them, of course, are for students and parents. And uh, you can have a good look at this and find out about loads of the apps that we've been using in the school. And of course, on this website, you can also find links to some of the things that we have done, like our VR stuff, uh, summer self-study, and there's loads of different things uh, on here. So yes, that is a very nice place to get some information uh, about things you can do online at home. All right, 29 of you got it. Now, I guess, of course, you can read in books and you can go to a library. Um, but, um, yeah, there it is. There's loads of stuff there for you guys right there in the tech website. So, has this changed things? Ooh, Bianca, up to first. Boss and Big Boss, King. And uh, Bianca, we've got two Biancas in there. So Bianca, this would be from 2B, I guess. Um, you are top of the pile. Next question. Ooh. Does our school have a P3 phonics website? Hmm. Does it? Well, our choice is yes, it does. Uh, no, it has a P1 phonics website. Uh, no, it has a P2 phonics website or emojis. What's the answer? Well, it looks like most of you have answered. Ten seconds to go. And, ooh, only 17 got this. Now, does our school have a P3 phonics website? Now, 21 said, yes, it does. Uh, no, it doesn't, I'm afraid, but it does have a P1 phonics website. And if we go back into our Tech with the Net website, uh, in the links here, ah, haha, -ha, I did show you uh, a few moments ago. Yes, I don't know if anyone saw that. Uh, yes, it is the P1 phonics website. Let's, uh, let's just click on that. So for all our P1 uh, students and parents, we do have this if you don't know about this already. Uh, maybe in the Easter holidays you can have a look. And uh, we got the information translated into uh, Chinese. It's in English as well. Uh, so that uh, you guys can really understand it. And of course you'll see we also have loads of things for our teachers. Uh, so we got loads of materials that we, uh, we can use with our students. But... Uh, as you're at home, really, for our parents, we've got some information here all about phonics and some of the things that you can do. And, uh, of course, our Teach Your Monster to Read, which our P1 students uh, have been doing. But here for students, uh, guys, remember, we have some nice links. Uh, we've got some information about some apps that you can maybe download. Um, I personally think this one, Bits Board, is a fantastic one. You do have to pay for it though. It's about, it's probably about 40 Hong Kong dollars, something like that. Might be a little bit more, but it's great. Uh, there's loads of uh, word games, phonics games, 
second, also sight word games on there. And there's a lot of other stuff. And yes, the phonics video playlists. So for our younger students, I don't know if you know about Alpha Blocks, uh, that's great. You can just click on that, go to the videos. We've got all the alphabet songs on there as well. And uh, yeah, more reading stuff, phonics stuff. So uh, there's loads of uh, phonics uh, things that you can be doing in the holiday there. So it is a P1. But of course, if you're, you might be in P2 and say, well, I, I want to do some of this as well. Uh, of course you can. Has this changed our top five? Bianca's still top. Boss, big boss, king and Bianca. No change. Ooh. Well, let's see if that stays the same after question four. Ha ha! My, one of my favourite questions. And it's got scary music. Where is your school? Gmail address and password. When we started our uh, online study, we had uh, quite a few problems. Students saying, I can't find my Gmail address, my password. I don't know where it is. Where is it? Uh, well, is it in the green handbook, in the blue handbook, in the yellow handbook? or in the living room. Oh, I'm just looking in the live chat. And Bianca and Bianca 4B is me, so Bianca from 4B is playing on two different phones or iPads, and she's doing well. Okay, let's have a look. It's in the yellow handbook. There we go. I'm so happy to see that uh, most of you got it. Um, yes. Now, um, in the yellow handbook, and... Um, we actually, uh, your Google Gmail address, we actually made a video showing you how to uh, get into uh, Google Hangouts, but, but at the start of this video, we're showing you how to sign in uh, to your Google, your school Google account. And of course, you all have uh, Google uh, email, which starts with S, and then it's number, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, at Precious Blood, da, 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 that one. And yes, your password is in your yellow handbook. It's at the back of the yellow handbook. And uh, for me, guys, uh, I know that uh, some students and parents are, oh, we can't log in, we don't know how and whatever. Um, sometimes there may be a problem it could be with the internet or the computer or yeah sometimes problems but signing in logging in this is a, a skill that uh, i think all students and parents uh, they really need to to get used to this and be able to do it because i think more and more in the future you will be studying and learning a lot online um, and doing more and more on the internet. So to be able to log in to your email accounts, uh, and I know you've had lots of practice and you know, you've know you got Edmodo and there's loads of different things that you've had to sign into. It can be tricky, it can be difficult, but uh, I think it's good to practice and to learn how to do that because then it opens up lots and lots of new things that you can do. So that's my advice. Um, just learn to log in, particularly your school Gmail account. Now, most of you got it right. Has it changed things? So Bianca, boss, big boss, king and Bianca, no change. So Bianca is in first and fifth place. I wonder if she can get first and second place. Well, let's see. 
question five. Ooh, nine weeks off school and what? Nine weeks off school and I miss my classmates. I love staying at home. I miss my teachers. Or I don't like maths. What is it? Such a long time, no school. How do you feel? Well, apart from the green one, of course they're all correct because maybe you have different feelings now. Nice to see that uh, 29 of you, yes, you miss your classmates and uh, all 13 miss the teachers. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, five of you love staying at home. Yeah, I mean, there is something a little bit nice, isn't there, um, about staying at home. Uh, but we do, I, I, I'm, I do miss going to school, seeing everyone, I must, I must admit. Uh, so, yeah, I don't like maths doesn't really kind of fit with this sentence, does it? But uh, let's see if this has changed things. Probably not. Uh, Bianca, Boss, Big Boss, King and Bianca. Well, these five are just, they're just stuck there. Let's try another question then. Ooh. Studying online with computers, iPads and phones is what? It is fun and easy, easy but boring, fun but difficult, or difficult and boring. Mm. Well, what do you think? Oh, and in the live chat, Isabel saying she hates staying home now. Yeah, you're getting bored with it, Isabel. And uh, when some you, when some you, um, is that is that Ob uh, from Five B? I'm just trying to remember uh, English name. Let us know in the live chat. She's saying uh, I miss both my teachers and my classmates. Yes, uh, we miss everyone, right? Oh, and uh, Clovis has just joined. I haven't heard from Clovis for a long time. How are you, Clovis? You good? Oh, and, uh, Oscar is uh, asking a very uh, uh, good question in the live chat here. He says, Mr. Matthew, when will we do the next live stream? Uh, I will be uh, telling you all about that at the end of today's uh, live stream, Oscar. But good question, yes. All right. Well, of course, all the answers are true because different people have different feelings to all this studying with computers, with iPads. 24 of you say, oh, it's fun and easy. Uh, 12 of you say it's fun, but difficult. Yeah, it can be. Uh, five of you say, well, it's easy, but it's boring. And six say it's difficult and boring. So yeah, different people have uh, different feelings towards uh, studying online. And yeah, I mean, it is quite different, isn't it, from going to school, with your classmates, being inside a class all together, it is very, very different. So uh, yeah, I mean, different people have different feelings. Uh, my feeling is um, I like it. I like doing the live streams. I think it's fun, but I do miss school. 
and I do miss going into the classroom and everyone's there and in the playground. Uh, yeah, I think that's a, that's a big miss for me. Anyway, let's have a look. Bianca's still top. Boss, big boss, king, and but there's no change. No one's getting close here to these five or four. There's Bianca and Bianca 4B. Same person. Right. What about this one then? Where is our bookmark library? Ha ha. We have a bookmark library. Our bookmark library has lots of links to all the things that we've looked at, or many of them. But where is it? Is it in our Google Hangouts? Is it in Google Translate? Or is it mapped in Google Earth? Or in our Google Classroom? Okay guys, of course it's in our Google Classroom. Now, most of you got it. Let's just let's just go into our Google Classroom, okay? And yes, yeah, so this post, which we always keep at the top or near the top, there it is, bookmark library. Uh, so you can see not everything we've done, but uh, we've posted quite a lot of links to some of the things we've done. Uh, for example, uh, back when we started uh, in one of the live streams, I was showing everyone how to make a Kahoot challenge. So you can, uh, if you want to know how to make a Kahoot challenge yourself and send it to your classmates, uh, you can go and you can watch that live stream from about 24 minutes uh, on. And that's where you can find how to uh, make a Kahoot. And we did things like telling the time, online practice games, um, using Google Translate, the Make Your Adventure Stories. There's a lot of links in here. In the last few weeks, we've been adding quite a lot of links to um, things like um, YouTube video channels, science channels, things like that. So the bookmark file... Uh, guys, this is something that, again, you can, if you're bored at home in Easter holidays, and if you are at home, you say, oh, what did we do? Oh, what were these Google Earth projects? And, oh, oh, Bianca, she put some study links in. What are those? And you can click on and uh, follow the links to all these good things uh, that we have been doing. So, the bookmark library. There it is. It's always in this post, easy to find, near the top. All right, guys, how's our top five looking? Whew, no change at all. Well, I know that there are 40-something people playing, but it just seems it's just this five every time. Well, OK, let's see if this does anything. Every Wednesday, it is... What? Have a look. What is it? Every Wednesday. Thank you. 
So what is it guys? Most of you have answered. Well actually today's Wednesday as well. Easy English, Middle English, Difficult English or speaking activities on Zoom or Google Hangouts? Of course the answer is... Difficult English, yes. So we've been, uh, for the last few weeks, last month or so, we, we, we set it up the Monday, we go with our easy English activities. Tuesday, a little bit more difficult, but kind of in the middle. And then, of course, Wednesdays, we have our kind of most difficult English activities on the live stream. And, of course, uh, our speaking activities, which we've been doing uh, on Zoom or Google Hangouts, they, of course, uh, are on Thursdays. Well, I thought more of you would uh, would get the right answer there. I thought our schedule was quite clear. Oh, well, OK, let's see. Does it change our top five? Oh, ooh, it does. Oh, Oscar's jumped in. Isabella, Obi, and Bianca and Boss. So we've had a bit, bit of a change there. Ooh, Oscar, straight to the top. Well, you've got two questions to stay there. Number nine. What did we talk about in the February 14th live stream? Was it Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day? Or Valentine's Day? Oh, that's a bit of a silly question, but uh, this will test your grammar. Seems to be about apostrophes, this question. Well, there we go, guys. That's where you put the apostrophe. Valentine's Day. It's between the E and the S. Oh, well done. Uh, most of you got that. Oh, very good. Yeah, to be honest, guys, I had to go on uh, Google and check that that was where the apostrophe was. So I wasn't sure either. But yeah, it's between the E and the S for Valentine's Day. All right. So has this changed things? Ooh, Isabella. You are now top of the pile. Oscar, Obi, Abigail and Cody. Well, we have a, a, a brand new top five and we're on the last question. Hoo -hoo. Now, the last question. Is it going to be easy or difficult? Let's find out. Will you have fun learning online in the Easter holidays? Will you have fun learning online in the Easter holidays? Ooh, well, what are her choices? The red one says, uh, yes, I will use all the apps and websites and keep learning by myself. The uh, yellow, orange one says, I might do some self-study. And the blue one says, no, I plan to spend all Easter holiday just playing Roblox or switch. And the green one. No, I will take a rest from studying and learning. So what's the answer? Will you have fun learning online in the Easter holidays?
Well, of course, uh, they are all correct because you will do different things, right? Wow. No one said, I will take a rest from studying and learning. Really? Wow. Ooh. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm very surprised. Because, well, it's, it's okay, you know, if you do take a rest. You, I think you guys have been getting loads of homework and you've been uh, studying hard at home, having to learn all the new things, studying on the computer and that. So uh, if you do take a rest, I think that's okay. But, wow, most of you are saying, yeah, I will use all the apps and websites and keep learning by myself. Well, uh, that's very, very... Uh, well, motivated, that's uh, very good. And some of you, <laughs> two of you, <laughs> well, yeah. You're just going to get on Roblox or play Switch. Yeah, well, enjoy, yeah. And then maybe after the Easter holidays, you can get back studying again. And seven of you said, I might do some self-study. Yeah, maybe a little bit. So, guys, whatever you want to do, I think, uh, I hope everyone can really enjoy the Easter holidays as much as possible, even though we can't really do so much. We can't travel, we can't go anywhere, So, but I'm sure we can enjoy ourselves. Okay guys, let's find out the winners. Here we go, third place. All correct, OB, congratulations. Second place, Oscar, well done. And first place is... Isabella la 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 and Abigail Cody well done you're also in the top five fantastic stuff well done to all of you and well done to everyone who played okay now that's the end of our last Kahoot before the holidays but we're not finished today not yet because I have one final candy challenge and I'm just going to bring myself back in here. There we go. Hello, hello. Now, the last candy challenge before the Easter holiday. Let me tell you. Okay. This morning, I woke up and I found something in my flat where I live. What did I find in my flat? It was not an Easter egg, I can tell you that. I found something in my flat. Now guys, you need to guess the answer, but you can ask me questions on the live chat. But your questions must be Yes, no questions. So, for example, you might ask me, uh, okay, this thing in your flat this morning, okay, is it big? Or you might say, is it small? And I will answer, uh, yes, it is, no, it isn't. You might ask me, uh, this thing in your flat, um, is it a machine? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. The only answers I can give to help you are yes, it is, or no, it isn't. So, guys, let me just put an example question here in the live chat. This is the kind of questions you've got to ask. So, is it... Something like that. Is it big? And I will say, actually, I'll answer that question. Yes, it is. So this morning, I woke up. I found something in my flat. And I was like, huh? Is it big? Yes. So, guys, start asking me questions, and then you can maybe start guessing. What did I find in my flat? Here at home, what did I find this morning? Okay, questions coming through. Oh, Lily says, do you like that? Um, yes, I do. 
Abigail said, can you eat it? <laughs> no, no, I can't. Uh, uh, Isabel said the same thing. Is it edible? Which means, can you eat it? Mm. Mm, no. No? No, 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 no. Oscar asking, is it an insect? No, it isn't. Not an insect. Any more questions? I tell you, my first, my example question, remember guys, I was, it, the question, is it big? Uh, yes, it is. So, uh, definitely not an insect. Any more questions? Oh, I've just noticed in the live chat as well, Wang Jiao, that's, uh, so I am Kelly. That's Kelly. Okay. All right, anyway, any more questions coming through? What did I find? in my flat this morning. Any more questions, guys? Any more questions? Da, 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 da. Ah, Serena from 1B. She's asking, is it a book? Serena, no, it isn't. Malvina is asking, is it a living thing? Malvina, is it a living thing? Yes, it is a living thing. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Mason. Mason's got a nice question. Is it uh, purple? The colour of this thing. Is it purple? Mason? No, it isn't. Ron. Oh, Ron's got... Is it your birthday present? No, it isn't my birthday present. No. Jaden, oh, hang on, Isabel, is it a type of candy? No, it isn't, Isabel. And Jaden's asking, is it a Rantorino thing? No, it isn't. Uh, Oscar says, is it a thing that you can you can touch it every day? Uh, Oscar, can I touch it? Um... Maybe, but yes, no, yes, no. No, I'm going to say no. I'm not going to touch it. Oh, okay, we've got loads of things coming through there. Okay. Ah, Serena's asking, is it a lizard? Uh, no. But guys, we know it's big. We know it's a living thing. And... We know that it's not purple. Is it a switch? Uh, no, switch is not living. Uh, can it swim? Says Oscar. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, that. Oh, good question. Can it swim? Mm, mm, oh, I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this thing can swim. I have to say, I don't know. Maybe a, a little bit, but maybe not. Uh, I think that's Obi asking, is it an animal? Yes, it is. Animal. Malvina is saying, is it a gecko? No, it isn't. Ella, is it a mask? No, nope. it is an animal. Yes, it's an animal. Yes. Uh, Abigail says, is that thing can eat? Do you mean, uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Abigail, by that. Is that thing can eat? Do you mean like, can I eat it? I, I, I will not eat this thing. Oscar says, is it an elephant? Well, elephant's big, right? But uh, no, it's not an elephant. Jimmy says, ant? <laughs> Just ant? Uh, no, it isn't. Serena says, is it a rat? Oh, 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 a rat in my flat. That would be oof, terrible. No, it isn't a rat. Uh, Leah is asking, well, he's just not asking. He's just saying fish. Okay, no. Jaden is saying, is it a dog? No. And Lily is asking, it's a rabbit? 
No, because this thing is big, big. <laughs> See now, there's no questions, there's just animal words coming through. So yeah, we know it's an animal. Um, let me give you a little clue. Um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, but dangerous. It's beautiful, but dangerous. Uh, here we go. Um, Wang Ching Hei, that's a uh, hazel. She's saying, is it a cat? I, I have to say to Hazel, is it a cat? Yes, it is. But what kind of cat? It's not a house cat. Oh, we're getting lots of ideas through snake. Nope. Rabbit. Nope. Sonic the Hedgehog. Nope. Peacock. Nope. Boom. We have the answer. We have the answer. Oscar from 5B. He's put the pieces together. Cat. Not a house cat. He says tiger. Yes. I... Oh, and Jaden's come through with Tiger as well. I woke up this morning and I found a tiger in my flat. That's right, a tiger. Now, probably you think... No, 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 no. So, uh, I took a photo to make sure. So, you don't believe me? You don't believe me, right? A tiger in your flat. Let's have a look. Have a look at this. Just woke up, just making a cup of tea, and uh, there you go. Found this tiger in my flat. Look at it. Huge thing. There you go. You didn't believe me, did you? The tiger in my flat. Beautiful tiger, but dangerous. So, what do you think of that, guys? A tiger in my flat. <laughs> Oscar, you are today's candy challenge winner. Now then guys, of course, it's not a real one, is it? It's not a real one. If that was a real tiger, I would not be standing there with my cup of tea. And uh, yes, uh, Isabel has seen, yeah, AR, VR, you know, all this stuff. It's 3D, it's not real. Yes, of course, it's not real. Uh, but uh, this is something you might want to play with uh, in the Easter holidays. Uh, you can't do it on a computer. You, you can't do it on a computer. But if you have a smartphone, kind of a, a newer smartphone. Now, I can tell you guys, actually, my phone... This is um, uh, iPhone 6, doesn't work on this, but if you've got, I think it's uh, 6, 6, 6S or, oh, I've just uh, got a 7, you, I'm getting some information, at least 7, yeah, so iPhone 7 or 8, 9, 10, if you've got a new phone like that, you can actually now go into uh, Google Images on your phone, not the computer, um, and you'll be able to find like a 3D button so you can look at pictures of animals and things like that and it brings them up into 3D and you can take photos with these animals just like that. So that's quite fun. Uh, I enjoyed doing that this morning. So guys, there's something you can do in the Easter holidays. All right, now, Abigail's going, <laughs> Don't trick us. <laughs> yes, uh, Malvina's played that too. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Um, all these 3D animals, you can bring them into your home. Uh, I also, guys, uh, I did... Um, let me just uh, come back out of there. Uh, little panda. You want to see the panda? Me sitting with the panda. There you go. You want to watch that again? Lovely panda. Hehehehe. <laughs>
I was trying to just read the news on my phone as this big panda sitting next to me. So you can have quite a lot of fun with that uh, if you do have a kind of newer phone. So uh, yeah, actually this one that I've got is too old. But uh, all right guys, we're almost finished. Uh, this is the last one of course before the Easter holidays. Um, a couple of points to finish with. Um, all right. In our Google Classroom, guys, please, 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 if you have not done this, uh, go into our Google Classroom. Um, I also sent this link to all students in your E-Class Junior, you know, your school E-Class Junior emails. So I sent this to all the students uh, as well through that. So if you don't go into our uh, Google Classroom, uh, you can find it in your email, your school email. But guys, we, <laughs> oh, it's broken, brilliant. Uh, we want, ooh, has my uh, computer been hacked? Ooh. We want you guys to uh, basically uh, fill in this form, which is not, not working now, brilliant. Um, Actually, you can check after the live stream. Click on it, see if it's working or not. Let me know in the in the um, uh, Google Classroom. Uh, it should be working. It was working fine earlier, um, but we have a questionnaire, and we've had I think we've had 18 students answer the questions. It's all about online learning, and it's going to help us teachers to um, make our online learning better after the Easter holiday. Okay. Let me just refresh that and uh, see if it works now. Ooh. Well, I'll have to check why did this happen. I'll have to look into that uh, in a minute after we finish. But guys, um, yeah, uh, that is very, very helpful for us. So if you can do that, as long as it's working, uh, we, will, uh, we will be able to uh, prepare and make... Uh, more fun, interesting activities for after the Easter holidays. Okay. All right, guys, that's it. Now, oh, one last point. So the school asked me to restart the live stream again on Monday, 27th of April. Now, I think uh, you will be getting your first homework SMS message from the school after the holidays on the 24th of April, I believe. So the school said to me, uh, Mr. Matthew, please restart the uh, live streams on Monday the 27th. OK, so our first uh, live stream back on YouTube uh, will be the 27th of April. Uh, of course, I will send you messages and emails and reminders. I'll put it on the Rantorino Facebook page as well uh, before we start again. But Monday, 27th. So we're going to have a couple of weeks break and then we'll be back. Uh, and hopefully we won't be back too long on, on the YouTube uh, because hopefully we can get back to school. We shall see. OK. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you all have a fantastic uh, holiday. Uh, enjoy yourselves, enjoy Easter, and we'll see you again on the 27th of April. Okay, but guys, let me just check the live chat. And, um, okay, there we go. So, Oscar, that's when we do it. You asked earlier when we start again. Okay, and um, all right, I'll be saying I cannot do the questionnaire. Yeah, something I need to check that. Uh, it was working perfectly yesterday and also this morning at about nine o'clock. So uh, I'll have to check that. And um, yeah, Sophia's saying I can't get in. Guys, let me look at that and maybe uh, go into the Google Classroom maybe this afternoon or this evening uh, or of course tomorrow, whenever, and fill that in. Maybe we have a small technical problem. Okay guys, have a super, super Easter and we'll see you after the holidays 27th of April. Bye bye.